go. Hello, and welcome back to Bazzi Callahan's Word of Advice, and this is the second video that you're seeing today with my friend Shannon Chapel. What? I just fell out of a car because I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. How odd is that? Because that's our topic today. About wearing your seatbelt, and I made some driving videos before, and I've given advice about what to do and what not to do, and in this case, this is one of those what to do videos. What to do instead of what not to do. Mm hmm And this is one of the most important rules that some people do break. Um, some cops give out tickets for this, and it's so dumb because it's a safety precaution. Yeah. You mm -hmm. should wear your seatbelt, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. That mm -hmm. little gray or black or even white in some new cars. That strap. That strap that your parents are saying, oh, don't play with it, it's going to break. The only time that breaks is with scissors or knife, and that is why they built like that, because they're meant to keep you safe. And that auto lock that you think is annoying when you're trying to bend down, that's also to keep you flying, from flying through the window, because that seatbelt does get loose, and you can slip right out, and that's why that auto lock safety precaution is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it comes to driving, you know, there is always that chance that there is a driver who is either distracted or under the influence of something, and when they're driving on the road, there is that chance that they might run into you, either in the front or they might ram into you in the back. And, you know, if you have your seatbelt on, well, that helps you in the case that you will not get as hurt as you could yeah. if, if you don't wear your seatbelt. I mean, I have a story to tell about this that I don't think I've told before. It was December of 2005, and my parents and I still had our big blue van. And, let's see, it was my mother driving, my dog was in the middle, and I was in the back seat, and one of my best friends was in the back seat. I and, don't think I've heard this story before. No, you haven't, but you'll like it. Um, let's see, about 10 minutes before we got hit by a big bus, my mother said, hey, put on your seatbelt. She was saying that to my friend, and he put on a seatbelt, and 10 minutes later, this huge charter bus that was tailgating us rammed into the back of our big blue van. All the glass from the back window shattered, and it just would have been horrible if anybody didn't have a seatbelt on. And Well, yeah, the dog didn't have a seatbelt on, but, 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 but the dog didn't get hurt. Because but, they're so low down. Exactly, but... You're not... Well, First off, we were lucky we had the big blue van, but even more importantly, we all had our seatbelts on. And my friend could have gotten so hurt if he did not wear his seatbelt when that charter bus hit us. You know, I, I remember maybe moving forward a little bit in the belt with it on, but... Out of luck. Yeah, but I could have... I, I could have run into the seat in front of me really badly and broken something or sprained something. The worst thing could, that could happen, really, in a car wreck, especially a really bad one, if you're wearing your seatbelt, the worst thing could, that could happen is you have a big bruise right here, which I did because I was in a small crash, but still, the guy was going pretty fast, and we were going that fast, but the end was totally ripped apart, and there's still skid marks in the grass where we crashed, like, and this has been what? It was in... I don't even know, probably December, November, and oh. that bruise went away pretty quick. I had some pain in my shoulder, but the worst thing that could have happened if it was a really, really bad crash, I had some cuts, some kind of deep lacerations, which are gashes, mm -hmm. and a couple broken ribs, and maybe I would have had to have my appendix removed, who knows, but at least you're not dead. One of my f mom's friends... They were supposed to go driving really fast around these hills and stuff, but she got grounded. But that car got into a wreck, and the guy that was driving, because he wasn't wearing his seatbelt, he was decapitated. And it's kind of scary, because he went through the windshield and hit the other car. And the car ran over his neck, and it wasn't just where the spine was separated from your neck and stuff. His head was on the other side of the road. And he died. And my mom wasn't in that car. But she also probably wouldn't have been wearing a seatbelt. And that means I wouldn't be here today. Mm. Yeah, I mean, with any of these cases, with car stories, 
you never really do expect it to happen that someone's going to ram into you. Unless you're the one doing it. And you know, there's no guarantee that you're going to come out of a car wreck alive or in good shape. Even when you have your seatbelt on, I mean, I think I remember a story in 99, there was this woman who, uh, she was driving and the car got hit by a drunk driver and, you know, her feet were pinned under the front of the car and, well, she got burned and she lived through it. And yeah, that was with her seatbelt on, but, you know, imagine if... You didn't have your seatbelt on and the car landed on its head right. and you were, your head was crushed or your head hit the dashboard so hard that you went into a permanent coma. But also imagine if like that car never caught on fire and she didn't have her seatbelt on. I mean, she'd be dead probably. You know, some people may think it's the cool thing to do trying to defy friction and stopping by not wearing a seatbelt. But you know what? It's better to be a nerd and follow the rules and wear that seatbelt of yours because it can help save a life. Yeah, and all these kids that are saying, oh, I don't need to say the Pledge of Allegiance. My dad is in the military and that kind of upsets me. But you know what? I would still go to their funeral if they weren't wearing if they were wearing a seatbelt and they got in a car crash. But if they didn't wear their seatbelt, I wouldn't come because it was their own fault. But the thing is, I hate quite a few people in my school. Hate's a strong word, but they've bullied me and stuff, which I think you've already done when I'm bullied, haven't you? Yes. Yes, and maybe there should be a part two. Possibly, but maybe. anyway, while we're on the seatbelt topic, yeah. you know, it's not uh, like the other video where we had to give a few reasons, but... You know, there's plenty of stories, and, well, we can't tell every story because we don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. Point is, though, if you wear a seatbelt... You're more it, likely to live. It can help save your life, and, and I make these videos because I try to give advice that will help people out, and this is another uh, driving video which can probably help you on the road. If you watch this video, just it's in, life or death. Just in case some unfortunate event happens because you, you never know when it's going to happen on the road. Over 10,000 teens and adults and even children die each year due to not wearing seatbelts in the U.S. alone mm -hmm. in car crashes that could have been prevented. So wear your seatbelt and odds are if you get in a wreck you're gonna live or your life just might be saved. Do we have anything else to say about this topic? Well. No matter how old you are, if you're in a car wreck, you're too young to die because, you know what, it's the big man upstairs' his turn to choose that. And you know what? Let him choose and not the car that hit you or the lamppost that your mom or dad accidentally hit. Mm -hmm. It's his decision. Leave it to him and make sure your seatbelt helps you with that. Just follow the rule that you're told from the time you're very young. Well, this is all the advice that we have for this topic, and I certainly hope those of you out there watching this do wear your seatbelt. Keep on spreading God's love. I better go check on that guy that I fell out of the car. Ah. She's kidding, of course. Yeah, I'm kidding. It's, yeah. She was just just part of the video. And come back for another word of advice video. Bye, and God bless.